welcome to Planning with Crystal. Today's unboxing is Glossy Box. This is for March 2023 and it's the UK edition of Glossy Box. So Glossy Box kindly send me this box every month. I'm going to unbox it for you. I'm going to show you what's inside, what it is, what it does, what it's worth. Hopefully this will help you to decide if this is a subscription worth considering. You may also see in the back behind me, we have got the Glossy Box, the Rodial Edit, which is an edit which is worth, I believe, over £160. And you can get it for £40 if you are a Glossy Box subscriber or if you sign up. Or you can get it for £50 if you are not a subscriber. So I'll put all the info about that as well under the video if you want to grab it. Because that video will be coming soon, but I don't want it to sell out if you want it before I get a chance to put the video out, if that makes sense. So all the info will be below. But that is just to say, if you are new to Glossy Box, it is worth considering because they also do some amazing beauty like brand boxes that are really good value as well. And you get the extra discounts by being a subscriber. So to be a subscriber in the UK, it retails at 14 75 per month on a rolling subscription where you can obviously cancel at any time, or you can do a 12 month subscription where it's 11 50 a month. Any discounts for your first box, I will put all the information below. So it is just a plain pink box this month. Sometimes they do special edition funky wonky boxes. This month is just like your kind of standard one. And our theme is dreamy days. So there is a little QR code on the back here. We should be able to scan it and get all our info. But alas, it doesn't work. Sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know if it's because the box has arrived before they've activated the code or if there's something wrong with my phone, <laughs> I can't get the info. So I'm gonna do my own research and I'll put on the screen what each item is worth. I read that 25 people will get a special ticket in their box, which will entitle them to go and see Frozen, the musical in London, which I would love to do, that'd be awesome. Now I did not get that card, but I got a little card kind of advertising Frozen and on the back, there's like a special offer where you can buy three tickets and get one free, it ends up being 199 pounds for three tickets, I think. There's info on the back and again, QR codes, if that's something that interests you. But we've got a range of items here, so I'm excited to kind of get started. Now then, the first item I can see is particularly intriguing. I can't remember what last month's sneak peek was. So I can't, I would normally start with what last month's sneak peek was, but I can't remember. Maybe I couldn't see because maybe the QR code wouldn't scan. But anyway, this is a particular interesting product to me. It's by a brand called Aura K. And it's the Orasmic Parfum Stick. I've never had anything quite like this, which is why it kind of jumped out to me. So it's not 0.16 ounce or 4.5 gram. Essentially, it is like a perfume in a stick. So it looks like some kind of makeup crayon. It literally twists up like this, but you rub it on your skin and it is perfume. Now, this actually really reminds me of something. I'm not sure what it is. It says on the box, cardamom, rose and woods. I really like it actually. It's quite, um, well, it's a scent I like. Again, scent is so personal. It, you might dislike it. You might love it. It's really hard to tell, isn't it? But I guess with this, that you can just kind of rub it on your pulse points, wherever you want it to go. And it's like a soft kind of crayon -y texture. So yeah, it's just not like anything I've ever seen before. It smells amazing. Yeah, and I've no idea what it's worth, like I said, but I am going to do some research and I'll put on the screen the kind of the RRP. Now, if it's not a full size, it will be kind of price per mil, but I will work out what this product is worth and put it on the screen so that you do have that information. Next up, a product I'm a little more familiar with. It's by L'Occitane and it is the Dry Skin Hand Cream. Um, it's got 20% shea butter and it's a travel size. I believe this is worth £8. 30 ml or one ounce. This is a really popular hand cream. It's really quite thick and moisturizing. It can take a little bit of work to kind of get it to sink in, but it kind of does fairly quickly. And once it does, your hands will feel nicely moisturized. You can almost get, I find if you're not careful and you put too much on, you can almost get slightly greasy hands. So sometimes with a cream like this, I'll just squirt a bit on the back of my hands, rub my hands together and kind of do it that way without getting it all off the palm of my hands. Probably too much information, that's how I do it. We've then got a serum from Jogby. This is a niacinamide serum. The evidence-based concentration of 5% niacinamide recreates the natural balance of the skin. It reduces the appearance of impurities and contributes to a fresher and more even skin tone. And that my skin really seems to enjoy niacinamide. I find it particularly good for kind of stopping breakouts, evening the skin tone a little bit. It really seems to be a great option. It says, for best results, apply every morning and evening on clean skin. I do currently use an niacinamide serum morning and night. 
and like I said, my skin loves it. So it's definitely something I will be getting some use out of. It's made in Denmark. It's 100% vegan and fragrance free and 92.8% naturally derived. Then we've got a styling product. This is by Colour Wow. And this is the One Minute Transformation Styling Cream. Instantly re-moisturises and eliminates frizz. 30 ml or one fluid ounce. Create the perfect style in under 60 seconds. Developed for colour treated hair, this all-in-one formula transforms parched, unruly hair into glossy, polished style without blow drying hair from wet. That is making a big claim because if I just wash my hair and put this on and don't dry it properly, it isn't going to look very sleek. But we will see what happens. It says apply a small amount of frizzy unruly areas and brush through with a flat brush to smooth away frizz. Or for a more professional finish, wrap unruly sections around a round brush and hit with a blow dryer for 15 seconds for use on dry hair. Okay, so you can use it on wet or dry hair, I guess. This looks like a travel size. Again, I'll put the amount on the screen regardless of what size it is, so you know what it's worth. The final item in here is by a brand called TYNT. Not at all familiar with this brand. It says liquid dip liner with precision tip, phantom liner, espresso 2.5 ml. I do like this packaging. I think that's pretty cool. It's like, um, I thought it was metal, but it's actually plastic. I'm trying to pull and it's a twist. That was, I was thinking that is way more difficult than it should be to open. Which way is it? Is it like that? Ah, okay. So it's one of those where the brush itself is separate from the actual product. Feels like quite a thin product. If you look there, I've just drawn that line on the back of my hands and can you see it starts off quite thick and then goes quite thin. Almost looks kind of watery as well. So I will see how that dries down. It's not drying down all that quickly. Oh no, it is. I'm going to be fair. The bit where it's a bit thinner when I rub my hand over it, it doesn't go anywhere. Actually, none of it goes anywhere. I stand corrected. It's actually totally dry. It just looks wet when it's dry, if that makes any sense. It actually looks wet when it's dry. Bizarre. So let's recap this month's glossy box. The products feel slightly random. It says dreamy day, but I've not really seen what's dreamy about it. We've got the perfume stick, which is something I'm quite interested in. Like I said, I really like the scent of it. If only I could remember what it reminds me of. The eyeliner seems pretty good. It dried down very, very well. The hand cream by Locks of Town. This is one of their best selling products. People love it. The styling cream from Colour Wow and the niacinamide serum from Jogaby. So that was the March 2023 Glossy Box. Like I said, links and discount codes will be under the video if you do want to pick anything up. I now also have a 21% discount for Look Fantastic. I'll put all the information about that under the video as well. So I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I would love it if you give it a thumbs up. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm producing. And I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.